Vicky Vidya ka wo wala video. Well, in a time before smartphones and Instagram when personal moments were recorded on clunky camcorders and watched on VHS, Vicky Vidya ka wo wala video explores the chaos that ensues when a newly wed couple's intimate honeymoon tape goes missing. Set in 1997, the film follows Vicky, played by Rajkumar Rao, a small town Mehdi artist, and Vidya, played by Tripti Dimri, a doctor, as they embark on their honeymoon to Goa. Eager to capture their intimate moments on camera, they film a private video that soon gets stolen, leading to a frantic and comedic search of it. What could have been a straightforward comedy of errors quickly spirals into a bizarre mix of slapstick, social commentary and even supernatural elements. Rajkumar Rao, one of the most versatile actors working today, tries his best to carry the film. His portrayal of the ever man, Vicky, has moments of charm, but the script offers him little room to fully shine. Tripti Dimri, who has proven her acting chops in films like Bulbul, feels underutilized in a role that offers her little beyond being the supportive wife. Vijay Raz, with his impeccable comic timing, manages to salvage a few scenes, particularly with his deadpan delivery, though his character is bogged down by an awkward romantic subplot with Malika Shirawat. Shirawat, making a return to the screen, embraces her role as a small-town seductress, but her character feels more like a caricature than a fully realized person. Raj Chandelia, known for his previous hit, Dream Girl, tries to replicate the formula of mixing risque humor with family values. But Vicky Vidya Ka Wo Wala video never quite finds its rhythm. The script vacillates between slapstick, comedy, social satire and even horror without ever fully committing to one genre. What begins as a promising comedy about a missing tape quickly develops into a cluttered and confusing narrative that loses its focus. The film's biggest issue lies in its inconsistent tone. It attempts to tackle modern ideas of privacy and gender roles in a pre-digital age, but undermines these efforts with outdated jokes and unnecessary fat-shaming, slut-shaming, ageism. In a baffling twist, the film introduces a supernatural element in its final act, with a ghost making an appearance in a nod to Rajkumar Rao's hit, Stri. This shift feels jarring and unnecessary, adding to the film's already overcrowded narrative. What could have been a simple funny tale about a couple trying to retrieve a lost tape turns into a bizarre mishmash of horror, comedy and activism. By the time the ghost shows up, the film has long lost its way. For those expecting the sharp humour and heart of Dream Girl, this film will likely disappoint. While there are a few moments of levity and nostalgia, they are buried under a mountain of missed opportunities and misfires.